What's going on guys, Sam here for Boundless Entertainment. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over our brand new plugin, Lightforge, which is going to allow you to quickly and easily optimize and maximize the quality of your scene to be able to get the most cinematic high-end results possible so i'm inside the project file for the lightforge promo video that i created and the first thing that i want to do is just show you guys how quickly we can use lightforge to optimize and maximize the quality in our scene and also get a render going in any of our projects okay so to enable lightforge we're going to go up to edit and then go into plugins and i'm just going to type in Lightforge and we can just click here we're gonna have to restart our engine to enable the plugin and once you've done that Lightforge will load up as its own window and I like to dock it right over here by the world outliner so it's easy and convenient to get to so the first thing that I want to do is turn on path tracing for my scene I don't currently have it enabled as you can see right here in our Lightforge window. But before I get started with any of this stuff, I'm actually going to set a timer to see how long it takes me to optimize this scene. So as you can see, I mean, our scene looks decent, but the lighting doesn't really match. It's not really looking that good. We have a lot of improvements that we can make here. So what I'm gonna do is start by enabling path tracing and we'll get this timer started and see how long it takes. All right, so I'm gonna click on enable path tracing. I'm gonna click okay. And we're gonna restart the engine. All right, and our scene is back up and running. And what I'm gonna do now is add a post-process volume into our scene here. I can put it anywhere. And I'm gonna go up here, select my post-process volume. I'm gonna click on optimize for my path tracing settings. And then I'm gonna go and hit optimize for our lumen settings. And look at that, we have an amazing improvement in our scene. And then all I have to do is go in here and to fix this weird shadowing issue, I'm just gonna click on set for this nanite mode. And now you can see our scene is fully fixed. We have really nice lighting in here. It's looking really good. And if I wanna render my scene, I can go into my sequencer, click here, and Lightforge comes preloaded with these really nice render presets. So I can just choose one of these render presets. I'm gonna do deferred no render paths. And I can click here. I will set my output path, make a new folder and set my resolution and I'm good to go. And I can click render. And in that amount of time, it was about exactly two and a half minutes for me to fully optimize my scene. Um, I could also render this using path tracing if I chose. So if we go into our Cine Camera Actor here, we can see that's what it looks like in path tracing mode. That's what it looks like in lit mode. Obviously, I don't have the sky sphere uh, set up properly for path tracing. We get some incredible results using either lit mode or path tracing mode. I'll show you the result of the deferred rendering on screen right now. And you can see that we get some really amazing quality out of Unreal Engine here using those render presets in conjunction with the Lightforge optimization. So I also went back into this project and reset it to its default settings. And then I manually optimized the scene to get it to the same level and quality as I did with Lightforge. It actually took me 10 times as long to accomplish this process. So it took me between 20 and 25 minutes to get the scene to the same point. And that's just the time savings that I got from optimizing the project after it's already built. That's not even including all of the time that you save navigating into your post process volume navigating through all of your project settings and developing the look of your scene as you go that's just taking a finished scene and then optimizing it from that point so Lightforge is going to save you a ton of time on every single project that you do and it's going to get your project to a really good place very quickly so I just wanted to kind of show you guys really quickly how fast this can be and how easy it is to get really good looking results out of Unreal Engine with just a few clicks using Lightforge. 